In the mild weather of last December, we took a trip to a few different contrasting venues in hope to capture a number of different species. Keep watching to see how we got on. It's late December now and it's still really, really mild for the time of year. So we're out on the River Lee. We've come here a couple of times, but the conditions are a little bit better today than they have been on our previous trips. A bit more color in the river. Looks like it's a little bit higher as well, flowing a bit faster, which is normally good for the chub and barbel. So today we're going, coming with one rod, net, mat, some luncheon meat, and we're just gonna roll meat down the river on a few different stretches, see what we can catch. Oh yeah, first barbel of the day, took a little while. Had to adjust to the flow because it's a lot fl faster flowing than normal. Pinched on a few more shots, got the bait right down on the bottom. And I got a barbel in the net. My first barbel of the day in the net, yes. First fish of the day and it's the target species, a barbel. Haven't caught these in a little while so it's a really nice result. Perfect little barbel. The River Lee is absolutely full of these as well. It's just sometimes they're a little bit tricky to catch. We're gonna spend the rest of the day roving the river. We've got a few other spots to try. See if we can catch maybe some chub or even another barbel if we're lucky. So today we're on the Upper River Lee. It's the area of the river which is very, very fast, but also very, very shallow. Most of the stretches are maybe one foot, two foot deep. This sort of location lends itself to roving, moving between swims throughout the day to catch the maximum number of fish possible. I like to just use one rod, bring the net around with me, a small unhooking mat and a waste pouch with all the tackle that I need and bait. This way you can move between swims without having to load anything over your shoulder or carry excess equipment. Obviously we're filming so that doesn't really help. It means we have to bring more stuff than we'd like to but the actual tackle that we're using today, well I've got a six foot rod, two pound test curve. Two pound might seem a bit stiff, but if you hook one of the good barbel or indeed a chub out of this river, they charge to the snags and you need all the strength you can to pull them out. Because I've got a strong, pretty strong rod, I need to use strong line and strong hooks. It's eight pound line straight through to a size five, I think. <laughs> Was it size five? I think so, yeah. I think it's about a size five. Nice big hook, doesn't matter that the hook's big because it's buried inside a lump of luncheon meat. We just like to use Spam straight off the shelf in Tesco. A little cube of it all roughed up on the edges is nice and natural looking to the fish. And uh, I think when you tear the edges like we have like this, instead of chopping them with a knife, 
they just let more smell off and more oils into the water, meaning quicker bites. As well as spam, we also bring some pellets, sometimes some crushed up boilies, any sort of ground bait really, and we'll squeeze that into little balls and throw that under each tree that looks good, each deep little hole in the river, just a couple of handfuls of bait, and then we'll walk all the way up to the top, or, or indeed the bottom, depending on where the car park is, and we'll walk through all of those spots and give them a cast or two in each swim. It's not worth sticking in a swim for more than two or three minutes, just a quick cast and you'll soon find out what's there. That's what we wanted. Go into a new swim that we baited earlier, and the rod tip whacked around a couple of times, struck, and it gave me a pretty good fight. This one, such greedy fish in here. And we'll get this one back, and I think we're going to move spots now. I'm so excited, I've just seen a fully scaled mirror under this raft. It just came out, I threw a bit of bait in it and then his head actually went down on the bait. Two cut, by the way. I know, I saw the other one. <laughs> Don't let him get any further down. Alex. Come into this little slack here. Where's my net? Oh, I'm getting it. Ah! <laughs> right, there you go. No, yes, yes. lived it, yes, come on! There were two carp down there, Carl. I know, man. Which one did you get the fully? Can't believe it, we baited the swim about 20 minutes ago with the pellet and crushed boily. Instantly the fish were on it. This fish was down there, head down, tails up, and another carp. And this one was the one that took it, and I'm so made up. Oh, what a way to spend a December day on the river. Yes. Fully scaled, Alex, fully yeah. scaled. When we came to the River Lee, we were kind of hoping we might catch one barbel, um, but we were never expecting a carp. Check this out, a fully scaled from this tiny little river I'm made up. What else was down was there? Wicked. There was five carp, three barbel, like ten chub, all under that one tree. To our surprise, the capture of the barbel hadn't spooked the rest of the show, so I couldn't resist just one more cast. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, what a fight! What a fight! Jesus Christ! Yeah, buddy, it's bigger than the last one as well! Oh, it's a good one. Oh, wow. Arnie's out the snag and he's a good fish. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hey, what a result. Look at that, Alex. That is amazing. What a way to end the session. It just got dark at the river and we've had a great day catching barbel, chub and that carp that I had which I'm still so pleased about. But now we're off to a river spot in Essex which we're going to do the night at. We will take 1 hour 14 minutes. Before that we're just going to go and get some food, rehydrate ourselves and we're hoping to catch a carp from that river. So that would be very interesting. Anyway Carl, drive me there. <laughs> Alright, that will be £50. Oh. The night had almost completely passed when eventually one of the rods started taking line. That common from the river was a real good result. So, so happy to catch one from there. But it's daytime now and apparently that spot doesn't do too many bites during the day. So we've decided to come over to Chigborough, which is a day ticket fishery quite close nearby. But once we've had pancakes, we'll get the rods out and it'd be great if we could catch one from here as well. Our run of good luck continued as Alex hooked into a fish before it had even got dark. First fish of the session from Chigbra and I'm particularly happy about this fish as now we've had fish from all three locations that we've fished this weekend. Didn't give much, a, much of a fight in the water, just sort of wallowed in, but thanks to Sam for nesting it for me. 
And now I'm holding a beautiful common. Everything here. Oh. Oh, I was all tangled over those bushes. The line had gone over the top of the bushes as the fish had kited so far to the left, round all of the trees. So the only way to get the line off of those bushes was to take my trousers off. <laughs> Now I hope this cop realises the effort that I went through to land him. I don't think he'll quite appreciate me having to strip off to get him in the net, but just so you know, I'm cold because of you. <laughs> anyway, we'll get this one back, see what the rest of the morning brings. Second fish of the session for me now. Cole's just had one, put that back about half an hour ago. I think I'm just gonna get the rod back out in the spot, leave this fish in the net for a bit longer and then get it out when it's a bit lighter so we can have a really good look at it. Really pleased Cole had one in the night and deep down I really wanted a really dark one like his. And that's what I got just before it got light. Rod screamed off, crazy bite. And I got this really dark common, probably about 15 pounds. But we're gonna be off soon. It's been a great few days fishing a number of waters for quite a few different species. And in all, it's been a successful trip. So I can't wait to get back to the River Lee, catch some more barbel and chub, and even some more carp. Can't wait to get back to that other river spot and catch some big ones like Carl had. And I can't wait to get back to Chigborough so we can catch them off the surface in the spring. It's been a great few days.